Okay, Isaiah chapter 35. I left my glasses in the car, but that's okay. I've got a bigger print Bible with me. Never fails. Okay, the wilderness, starting with verse 1. Amen. The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them, and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as a rose, or mm -hmm. as the rose. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice even with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given unto it in the excellency of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord and the excellency of our God. Now here's where I really wanted to get to. Strengthen the weak. Yes. Or I should say strengthen the weak hands. Yes. And confirm the feeble knees. Now, you know, when, when we testify or we witness to someone, sometimes they need strength to go on because they've tried everything else, but they haven't tried the Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with a vengeance, even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. Now, then we go on to verse 5. It says, then the eyes of the blind. See, something's got to happen in verse 4 in order for verse 5 to start off with the word then. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf, deaf shall be unstopped. Well, so what does that mean? It means it's talking about the healing power of God. And we need, we need to stand in that healing power. We have the authority to lay hands upon the sick and they shall recover. We have the power to put our hands on people's ears and they shall hear. We have the power to place our hands over blind people and they shall recover. Amen. Says the then shall the lame man leap as a heart. Yes. And the tongue of the dumb shall sing. For in the wilderness shall walk waters break out and streams in the desert. Right there, verse 6 is talking about a revival. Yes. Then shall the lame man leap as a heart, and the tongue of the dumb, dumb shall sing. For in the wilderness shall waters break out and streams in the desert. It's talking about revival. And that's one thing this area needs is revival. If there's one thing the church as a whole needs is revival. All right. Yes. Verse 7 says, And the parched ground shall become a pool and the thirsty land springs of water in the habitation of dragons where each lay shall be glass, well, shall be grass with reeds and rushes. So I tell you, you know, there's a, there are people today that are dry and dried up. They're dead spiritually. Come on. But you know what? They're parched brown, and they need the you know, they need the Lord Jesus Christ in their life. Verse 8, I always like verse 8. And a highway shall be there, and a way. And it shall be called the way of holiness. Yes. 
The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those I went all the way to chapter 39. Stupid Bible. <laughs> there it is. No, well, that's still not it. Thank you. Wayfaring men, though fools, shall not err therein. Now think about that. It's saying that the, that the way of holiness is a straight way. And it's also saying that the unclean, those who do not know the Lord, will not be able to pass over the highway of holiness. Yes. Says the unclean shall not pass over it. Mm. Verse 9 says, No lion shall be there, nor any ravenous beast shall go up thereon. It shall not be found there. But the redeemed, ah, guess what that means? Hallelujah. That's us. But the redeemed shall walk there. We don't, once we get over, cross the highway of holiness, we don't have to worry about the devil any longer. Right. Because it says, no ravenous beast shall go up there on. It shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. Amen. And the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. Hallelujah. They shall obtain joy, gladness, and then it says, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. There's not going to be any more sorrow. There's no tears in heaven. There's no sickness in heaven. God, God's made heaven to be a perfect place for us. He's looking for people that are willing to pay the price to get redeemed. To be redeemed. Because I tell you what. I want to be one of those that walk across it. As a redeemed believer. Shall obtain joy and gladness. And sorrow and sigh shall flee away. Well, now, there's been something bothering me all week, and that is um, that song that somebody sang I don't know if it was up here but it was about strolling over heaven Wanda, she sang yes something. strolling okay. over heaven it was Wanda well you know I was thinking you know, I know that Connie's mother made it because Connie's prayer was if yes. you have if you have to if she has to die or take oh, save her and take her save her and take her 
And that's what he did. He saved her and he took her. But you know, I've got loved ones that, that didn't have, they didn't have an opportunity. They had opportunities. Many opportunities. My stepdad's father was a retired Church of God minister. My mom had many opportunities. Now, in her last state that she was in, I don't know if she made it right or not. But I hope she did. Because ever since Sister Wanda sung that song Sunday, it's been kind of going through my mind. And if you think about it, we have an awesome responsibility. Those that are left behind, we have an awesome responsibility. Yes. We need to reach our loved ones in a, in a way where they can accept Jesus Christ as their Savior and to go on and be with the Lord should they pass away. Yes. But you see, I don't think we're going to have to worry about that too much because I think the Lord's going to come and take us home. Not too long a time. Amen. And uh, that's all I had for tonight. But we have an awesome responsibility to the lost. Because the word says that the Lord's not going to come until every person has heard the gospel. Wow. There's about, what, six, seven billion people now? Seven. And uh, that's an awesome responsibility. But thanks to the internet, satellites, transatlantic telephones, and trans-Pacific telephones, we should be able to reach others for the gospel of Christ. Mm -hmm. And uh, but that's pretty much all I had tonight. And uh, may God bless you. Now.